Okay, for starters, we're gonna take these Allen bolts. This should be a five millimeter bolt, and there's four on each side. Four in the front, four in the back. And the same with the right side over here. We're gonna loosen those up, and we're also gonna take these covers off. We just held on with these two Allens. I think that's a three or four millimeter on each side. Two here and two on the rear. And take those off and we're ready for the next step. Okay, we have the covers off now, and we've also loosened all these to hand tight. We'll leave those in place until we have the forklift underneath this gantry and strapped on and secured, and then we will remove all these by hand at that time. And the next thing we're gonna do right now is we're gonna unhook the motor, and that's just gonna be these twist blocks, and then the sensor for the homing switch is right here. We're gonna unhook that, that's another twist lock and then uh, those will be free. And the only other thing is these mounting brackets, which are the aluminum pieces. Those are bolted underneath with four bolts. We're gonna loosen those now and uh, remove this uh, from each side. So just four bolts and this whole assembly comes down. I've labeled it XB, which is the left side. It also matches the XB motor label and this is the top of the motor. It'll be really easy to bolt back on um, once we get there. Before I take this off I am going to loosen the motor which is just these inside slots. I'll get the um, uh, these inside slots much better with the light. If I loosen those the motor will drop and come out of the, uh, the contact with the gear here and then that way Gantry will be loose and I can uh, pull this whole assembly off. And we'll go ahead and do that now. <laughs> so now, electronically, we disengage everything from the left side of the gantry to the machine, which is this, and the sensor, and the motors. So, we don't have any more cables tying us together when we go to lift this side off. Last thing I'm going to do on this side is take this little sensor off. It's got the plug here, which we unhooked earlier, and then it's attached to an aluminum block, and then this is the actual sensor. It's held in right here with just two uh, five millimeter bolts. So we're just going to take those two bolts out here and here, and this thing will come right off, and we will reattach that uh, later. Okay, on the right side, which is also the XA side, we've done basically everything we did on the XB side, or the left side. One difference is we have this E-chain on this side, so to make this a little more flexible when we're moving the forklift around, I unbolted the end of this E-chain. Normally bolts come up through here, there's a little hole in the system here, up here as well, and then bolt in on the underside of here. It's just a 5 millimeter Allen bolt. One on this side, one on the back side. And that usually secures that in place right here. But we want that nice and loose so when we're moving the forklift around, this doesn't have to stay connected to the edge of the gantry. So I took those two bolts out and I just hand threaded them a little bit into the top here. And uh, that way we won't lose those. But those are the ones that go underneath and through here when it's time to reattach the E-chain.
All right, here's a quick video to show the removal and inst installation of a bearing car. So we've got these, these come with the new bearing cars and you can use them as a guide to get the old ones out to make sure we don't spill any ball bearings anywhere. So that little piece helps hold those in place. And that's all there is to it. They just slide on, slide off. So with the gantry removed, makes it real easy. So again, we're just gonna position this right here and slide that bearing car on. And that's how to install and remove a bearing car on a multicam.